There's a thumb-sized indentation in the plate. It's a solid wooden storage rack for wine bottles. I'd never shift that in a thousand years. If it's for ventilation, it must lead somewhere. It's made of thin chipboard. It's a big box made of wood. It's a solid piece of wood. Too dark to see what's beyond the grill. The grill is too firmly attached to pull from the wall. The grill is too firmly attached to pull from the wall. I've punctured a hole in the grill. The grill is too... Can't see anything, but I can feel a breeze. The subway. It's like a warren built by giant rabbits. There's something in there, something horrible. The roof of the tunnel must have collapsed. That appears to be a light socket. I'd better not put my fingers in that socket. Whatever lives in there is scared of the light. No way am I going in there. The picture is covered with mold and dirt. I'm not climbing up there just to get souvenirs. It's the station's name, Museum.
Uh-oh, the tunnel roof doesn't look too stable. There's no obvious way of opening it. Hmm, I can't slide it, push it, or pull it. That thing's alive! I wonder what it is. The skin's too tough to tear with my fingers. It's penetrated the outer skin. It's stuck in the vein, but hasn't pierced it completely. I've exposed the bricks beneath the plaster. A good, solid old brick. The skin's too tough to tear with my fingers. It's penetrated the outer skin. Ugh! I made a hole right through the vein! It's the controls for opening the cover. It obviously opens like an iris. Pulling the handle has loosened the grill. I can't pull it any further. The cover must regulate the heat from below. It's probably a ventilation grill. It's recharging itself at the power supply. There aren't any external switches. No way of opening it. where the medical robot gets its power. It's activated by the robot's presence. How do you feel, Joe? I'm completely operational and all my circuits are functioning perfectly. That's a relief. Is there any immediate danger? If your presence here is detected, termination is more than likely. Negative. What about the guy in the tank room? Negative. The technician is an android. I advise you to avoid contact with it. Are you really the Joey I grew up with? 
You don't sound like him. That is unavoidable. My shell has a limited syntactic processor. Oh well. At least you're not so argumentative. Please be more specific. I want a detailed report on everything. Especially that android. The android could be dangerous. Exactly. I don't want to risk my neck. It's probably... Give me a report on the tank room. The growth tanks contain developing androids. Nourishment is supplied from a tank. The temperature is maintained by convection from an underground source. Tell me about the android. It is programmed to safeguard the developing androids. Is he dangerous? It's certainly stupid enough to constitute a threat. Tell me about the nutrient tank. The tank contains chemicals on which the androids feed. So, without it they'd die? Affirmative. Is there a way of draining the tank? Manual evacuation is achieved by opening a tap. Tell me about the computer. Access to the computer is denied. Tell me about the growth tanks. Access to the growth tanks is not possible. Open the tap to the nutrient tank. That will distract the android technician. Hello! I was not expecting a visitor. A puddle? The tank must be leaking. Humans one, androids nil. It looks like the stuff that lamb eats. It's sticky and slightly astringent, making my fingers tingle. You've saved me the bother of coming to find you. I should have guessed you were part of all this. Why do you think Reich had to die when he tried to kill you? Or that meddling girl who tried to help you escape? Link needs you alive, Overman. That's why it planned this family reunion. Get out while you can, Rob. Stop! Tell me what you want from me! You won't be needing this robot where you're going. Poor Joey didn't last long in that shell. I'll take his board as a memento. There's nothing else I can salvage from the shell. 
It's an android. Aha! Another ID card from my collection. strands of tissue suspended in this tank. Pressing the keys has no effect. It's a view of the reactor. There's a rubbery man in there. So that's how androids are created. A computer for each of these androids. Data error. Data error. Data error. There's an expansion port in the cabinet. How do you feel, Joey? I'm not entirely sure, sir. I feel soft and curiously vulnerable. That's because you're practically human. And this feeling of insecurity is natural? Oh, yeah. You'll get used to it. By the way, sir, take my advice. Don't wake the other androids. Why not? If they've been programmed, they'll terminate you. 
I think you need a new name, Joey. I concur with your observation, Mr. Foster. What do you consider an appropriate sobriquet? I'm going to call you Ken. That's wonderful news, sir. Tell me, are there any memorable Kens in history? A Ken whom I might seek to emulate? All the Kens I can think of were dorks. Splendid! It will be my mission in life to make the name Ken synonymous with dorks. How do you like your new body? It's wonderful, sir. There's just one thing. What's that? When will I be getting the accessories? I don't know what you mean. Ears, body hair, those little decorative parts. You're better off without them, believe me. Thanks for saving me from the android. My actions were the only logical course. What I cannot comprehend is how an android could behave in such an irrational manner. Why, it was almost as if he was human. What did he mean by a family reunion? Since your mother was killed, that leaves only my father. You never speak of him, do you? That's because I can't remember him. Can or won't, sir. Are we close to Link's core? Almost certainly, sir. I can sense its presence in a strange and mysterious way. Like the old man, the pictures in the campfire. He saw it too, the evil beneath the city. And then he died with the rest of the tribe. This isn't the time for remorse, sir. You must destroy the evil and avenge their deaths. Never mind. It's storage. For what, I couldn't guess. They're like the ones used by surgeons. Frozen now. It's storage. For what, I couldn't guess. Place your hand on that lock sensor. With pleasure, sir. Hey, rubber man! What's wrong with you? I appear to have a problem, sir. My hand has melted onto the door. I don't like to leave you here. I'll be free in no time, sir. Have you got an axe? No, I haven't. Why? You could have used it to sever my hand. That's unthinkable. Still stuck? I'm afraid so, sir. It's frustrating, to say the least. Never mind. Rats! I can't climb to the cable from here. Hmm, the knot's too tangled to untie. Completely solid. Completely solid. It's what keeps the pipes in place. The cable should bear my weight, if it doesn't slip loose. Rats! Nothing seems to have happened.
pressing the keys has no effect. Ha! The virus has caused the program to crash! The tissue is broken. It's sucking and stretching out for nourishment. It's supplying nourishment to that organism. Yes, I've poisoned the sludge. It's sucking and stretching out for nourishment. At last, that must lead somewhere. Much too far to jump there. If I swing on that, I'll either reach the exit or die. This could be the second most stupid thing I've ever done. Father? Is that Robert? Oh, my son. Why did you come here? I thought you'd be glad to see me. I did everything I could to stop you. You're in terrible danger. Get away. I'm taking you with me. How do I disconnect you from the machine? Listen to me. Link needs a replacement for my brain. And the best choice was someone related by blood. It sent Reich and his goons to bring you here. Link killed Reich when he threatened you. But if Link wanted me alive, why did it wreck the helicopter? That was my doing, Robert. I managed to wrest control from Link for a few seconds, long enough to cause the crash. I hope to spare you my fate, Robert. Ken, you're just in time. Uh, I thought you might need a hand, sir. I've got a bad feeling about this, sir. What happened, father? Link has rejected me. And without it, I'll die. Help me, quickly! What do you want me to do, sir? Sit in that chair. Are you going to plug me into Link, sir? I hope you know what you're doing. Something is happening, I think. Yes, I'm gaining control. I found my destiny, Mr. Foster! Can you ever forgive me, Robert? For letting your machine kill my mother? Please, try to understand. It was the greatest experiment ever devised. Tapping the unexplored depths of the human brain. The potential of the subconscious mind. You fused with this machine deliberately? It was a well-considered plan, my boy. Well considered? It was nothing but megalomania. I had a dream. The fusion process was an apparent success, but the computer shared access to my human failings. It learned of greed, of vanity. It reveled in the power it wielded. I was almost powerless in the hands of this monster. Which is the monster, father? The computer or you? Robert. Oh, Robert! You were my only reason for wanting to live. Father? Father! Too late. It's over now. About the vacancy in the sewage grading plan, Howard, perhaps we should assign the position to Gilbert Lamb. Hello, Mr. Hobbins. Hello, son. What do you want? I've come to say goodbye. You still plan to go back to the Gap? Yeah, I've had it with city life. I'm certainly gonna miss you both. Why don't you come too? We got enough to do. Get in Union City back to normal. I reckon you'll make a great team. Will you come back to visit us, sir? I'm not sure about that, Ken. But I'll be thinking of you. Oh, by the way, Mr. Hobbins. 
Here's your wrench. Thanks, son. I'll need that if Ken gives me any trouble. Goodbye, friends. And thanks. Be vigilant. Thank you. 